My name is Nicole Murphy. I'm into fitness. I have a fitness clothing line, which I'm wearing right now, uh, that I'm working on. I also have a jewelry line called FLP by Nicole Murphy. It means friendship, love, peace. Also working on a skincare line. Yeah, I'm a busy bee. <laughs> I am a mother and I am a new grandmother. My fitness journey is quite interesting. Of course, I have five children. I would say the first two children that I had, I did not take fitness seriously. I had the baby and went back into shape. I was fine, I was like, oh, okay. But then I started noticing the different changes in my body. My body wasn't as firm. The muscles were, you know, it was a little soft and I was like, ugh, that doesn't feel right. I don't like that feeling. I decided after the third child, yo, you need to step your game up. It's time to hit the gym. I think the genetics play quite a bit in your, um, you know, and how your body reacts to certain things. I am tall, I'm 5'10", so even when I was pregnant, I didn't look pregnant. I just had a little ball in front of me. And pregnancy was so easy for me. I had no issues. It was like, ah, plop, here's a baby. You know what I mean? I did it five times. I could have done it 10 times easily, no problem. And that's just me, personally, that's just my genetics. I was blessed in that way. But my body still, it takes a toll on your body. Your body does change no matter what. I'm older, I'm 52 now. With each child, it seemed like my body got different, it wasn't going back as, you know, as fast as the first one. It was more challenging. So, you know, I just dedicated myself into at least doing an hour, maybe four days out of the week, hitting the gym. I have to be quite honest, I'm not a person that can go to the gym by myself. I will cheat. I will go, ugh, I feel the pain, I feel the burn, I quit. I need a partner to work out. I need a girlfriend, or I need a trainer, or I need to take classes. That's just me personally. There's a lot of people that can do the, you know, this by themselves, but I need that challenge. I need that competition. I need somebody in my ear. Come on, let's do this. Nicole's on her favorite machine. I can't stand it, but I have to do it, but I hate it. <laughs> I was really thin as a little girl, tall and skinny. So, you know, I, I would get kids going, I, they call me olive oil. <laughs> Is that her name from Popeye? Olive oil, right? I would get called olive oil, um, you know, but I look back at it, it was a good thing. I mean, it was who I was, you know? Uh, and then I got into the modeling when I became uh, 13 years old and then it just took off. 17, I was up in Europe. The modeling journey was very, uh, it was a great experience. But what was interesting, I always had a butt. I always had a butt, and people don't realize that. I used to try to hide my butt. And when I was modeling, sometimes they would tell me my butt was too big, can I lose weight? And I was like, okay. I was already skinny, but I always, always had this butt. I'm like, how do I lose my butt? It's impossible. I couldn't do it. So some gigs I couldn't get because of the butt. But then other times, you know, I was fine. But I, I didn't look back, I was like 120 pounds. I weigh 149 right now, but I'm more muscle. The older I got, of course, it was like, you know, this is me. And then I noticed everyone embracing their butt. And I was like, you know, I need to embrace mine because <laughs> I have it, it's here and it's natural. It is what it is, this is me, and I have to love me, and I love my butt. I try to tell my girls, you know, I have four daughters, I try to tell them, I'm like, listen, your body is beautiful, but you gotta hit the gym eventually. You gotta stay on it and start eating correctly because it will catch up to you, it changes. I never thought I would gain weight. I never thought I would get out of shape. Never, that never even crossed my mind, but it happens. I think that's pretty cool that I don't look like the average grandma. <laughs> I do.
That's why I, I think fitness is so important because I want to stay healthy. I want to be able to run with my grandbaby now, you know. I made this lifestyle change, I would say within the last two months, I realized, yo, <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> and that's because what I was putting in my mouth. And I had to really come to terms with that. Nicole, you gotta change your eating. You gotta really like pay attention now. Eat lots of berries, drink lots of water, eat lots of vegetables, have your protein, but cut all the other stuff out for a while. I think fitness is a great stress reliever. If something is going on in my life, it's, I think it's a great way to, you know, come work out and you're gonna relieve a lot of stress right there. My typical workout is interesting. What I'll do is I work out with a trainer three days out of the week for an hour, which is great. And I need that. I need that challenge. I need to see somebody else doing this so I can do it better. The motivation comes from, I don't want to get comfortable. I've always been like that, even when I was married. I would see couples that would be together for a long time and they just let themselves go. I still wanted to look good for my man, you know? And even though now I'm single, I still want to look good. I don't want to be all out of shape and just let myself go. I'm working on a fitness line. I want something that, like if I'm running around all day and I don't have time to go change really quick, I still look cute. <laughs> so that's why I decided to do my own fitness line. And uh, it's not out yet. It's called NM Fit, but it will be out soon. I think with age, you build your self-esteem, you become more confident. I'm confident within myself. I love to embrace my age. We can't go backwards. When I see women, they're like, oh, I don't want to tell you my age. I'm like, yo, there's nothing we can do about that. If you look good, it is what it is. I'm 52, I'm proud of it. I can't go backwards. I just got to move forward and feel good about myself. And hopefully I look this good at 62. I'm not perfect. I still have things I want to change, but I'm trying to do the best that I can, and this is my best so far.